So Bill, you're going to have a look at my power stop. I can't wait. I'm really nervous. Oh, doing a power stop for Bill Stoppard. Oh my God. Right, let's have a look. Whoa. Oh, that looks sweet. <laughs> you're getting some nice slide and you're actually juddering along, getting a lot of friction. So you're stopping mm. quicker than most sliders would. Okay. But what I am seeing going in is you're moving one way and then the other way. Yes, I'm curving. We could go to a nice simple pivot right away. So a straight entry, nice little bend of that foot that you're going to be pivoting off of that inside foot. It's a straight line. Straight line. No pre-curve. Get that nice little pivot into the power stop, no curve in. I mean, if you wind up doing a bend, uh -huh. that's fine. Okay. But approach it like you're going to be doing it in a straight line. Okay, I'll have a go. All right. I have to say that's it's hard to unlearn muscle memory, isn't it? Whoa! That was it. So... No, I still, I still curved a bit, didn't I? See, if when you do that curve, what you're doing is you're actively preparing yourself to enter. Mm -hmm. And I think a better way to prepare yourself for entry is when you're entering it, to actually give yourself, put weight on this foot. So I like to bend this over when I'm entering. Uh. So when I do decide to do that turn, I'm basically in that position. I'll show you what I mean. Simplify now because I'm in that position and it's already laid down perfectly. Uh, okay, so I'm turning right the opposite way to you. So you mean the front foot uh, is going to edge first, right? Yeah. So that it and then you're pivots. Approaching straight. Uh huh. Give yourself a little bend here. Right. And then you're kind of imagining and feeling that you're going to be on that foot entirely okay. as you rotate. All right, let's have a go. Whoa! And my head seems to be going the wrong way. I think we need a, just a little more of this underfoot to be a little more. You just need a little more speed up. Ah, uh, yeah. So no wider than like shoulder width, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you go any wider than shoulder width. Then that's gonna slide, you're isn't off it? Into a magic or something. Nice. Okay. One last time. So now I think. Your, your position's right. You could use a little more weight on that underfoot. On this one? Yes. Yep. So that would entail maybe... Even more. You're like this, but let's think about getting that knee up even more. Ah, uh, getting oh, the that, knee that out. Looks beautiful. That beautiful. Okay. Looks right. Ooh. That's so much cleaner on the way out. <laughs> you should almost feel when you're, when you're tweaking this that Oh shit, there's too much weight on that foot. I'm gonna slide out. Okay. So I, I, I think I sensed you fighting for balance. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. But I, yeah, I can see that, <laughs> funny, isn't it? More knee bend needed on one leg. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, my pleasure. That was awesome. Great, fantastic. That was, uh, oh, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> They are. Approaching a power stop is like, I don't know. No, I mean, I mean, doing a power stop in front of you is nerve wracking. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. That was fun. That was good. I like being the student. It's, uh, it's important for us teachers to be students occasionally too, isn't it? Are you struggling with the basics? Skip feeling like a beginner and experience the freedom of skating well with this online course. Grab your free lifetime access to the first two lessons.